What is up guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. So this week guys, we finally hit it. We've hit 1,000 subscribers. So I just want to thank you guys so, so much for subscribing down below. The only reason I've been able to reach this milestone is because of you guys watching this video. So I just want you guys to all know how much I really appreciate you. And if you want to suggest some ideas down below for my 1,000 subscriber special, feel free to do so. And I'll make sure to shout you out if you choose a good one that I choose and use for the video. Anyway guys, for today's video, I really wanted to do some prank calls because I genuinely think they're quite funny. And I thought it'd be a video that you guys would actually enjoy. But I didn't want to do just any prank calls. I wanted to do them with a little bit of a twist. So the other day on Twitter, I tweeted out, thinking of doing a prank call video, but I want you guys to shape the whole video. Reply with who you want me to call, what accent or impersonation, and what about. So guys, as you can expect, I'm going to be doing prank calls using the suggestions that you guys sent in to my Twitter. And for the people whose suggestions I used, all of their YouTube links will be down below in the description. Be sure to subscribe to them as well, because without them, I couldn't really make this video, so yeah, thanks guys. Right guys, so the first suggestion is to call McDonald's and say I'm stuck on the toilet with no toilet paper. McDonald's going to Scott Bacon. Hello. Hello. Um, is this the Grimsby McDonald's? Yeah. Right, I, I don't know how to say this. Um, it's gonna be sound a little bit odd. Basically, I'm stuck in your toilet and there's no toilet paper. Yeah, which one you stuck in? Um, just the one upstairs. <laughs> Would you be able to send someone with some toilet paper? I think they're looking for the right cubicle. <laughs> From listening to what was going on on the phone call, I think they were running around, going to every single cubicle, looking for someone that was on the toilet, stuck with no toilet paper. I think that was a little bit of a fail. I'm gonna try once more with this suggestion, because I think it's quite a funny one. It's probably one of my favorites, so let's give it another go. Hello, how's speaking? Hello, is this McDonald's? Isn't it, yeah. Basically, I don't know how I'm going to say this, but it's, it's going to sound a little bit odd. Um, ba basically, I'm in your toilet and there's no more yeah. toilet paper. I'm, I'm quite stuck. I'll go get, I can get someone to give you to bring some in. All right, mate. I kind of pooed on the floor a little bit. Okay, no worries. All right, see you. Bye. Thank you very much. <laughs> they didn't even go check. <laughs> Do you think he believed it? No, he was just like, okay, bye. <laughs> Do you guys think he believed that? Because he pretty much just went, okay, bye. And I'm not sure if he actually went to look in the toilet if there was someone stuck there. Um, I don't know if that worked. So the next one, guys, says, call Domino's and talk about the difficulty of being a vegetarian with some places not doing vegetarian food, but then go on to order a really big, fat, meaty pizza. And again, this one doesn't specify what accent or impersonation to do, so I think I'm just going to do normal. I think this could be quite a funny one, because people are going to be really confused. Like, I've been saying I'm a, I'm a vegetarian, and I can't find anything to eat, and then I'm going to order some meat pizza. But let's give it a go. Guys. Domino, Steve speaking. Hello, is this Domino's? Is, is that Domino's, did you say? Yeah. Yes, it is. The one white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you do any vegetarian pizzas? Yeah, yeah, we got things like Veggie Supreme, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a really big vegetarian. Oh, okay, so you want to order a what, vegetarian pizza? Well, yeah, it's just sometimes it's quite difficult to sort of find places that do nice vegetarian pizzas. Oh, right, yeah, no, Domino's do them. Do you recommend them? I like meat, so I've uh, never had one. <laughs> yeah, okay, I get you, that's fine. What kind of vegetables have, do you do on them? I'll just bear with me a sec, I'll um, let you know. Right, you got yeah, onions, green and red peppers, mushrooms, tomatoes and sweet corn. Okay. Well, let, hold on, let me just have a little think. Um, you know what? Can I just get a big fat pepperoni pizza? You, you want a pepperoni pizza? That's vegetarian, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you do vegetarian pepperoni as well? Vegetarian pepperoni, yeah. What what sort of meaty pizzas do you have as well? Do, do you want one of them? I, just, I, I like meat. I, I know, yeah. Do you do... you got these special meat veg as well, so it's alright. Oh, so you do meaty vegetarian pizzas? Alright, mate. Good luck. See you later. Aww. Oh. Tried. No, what if that was a real customer? <laughs> right guys, another one that hung up. No ones are having any of it. Like, they can tell that it's a prank call towards the end, 100%. Like, I was telling him that I like vegetarian pizzas and then I said I wanted meat and he was like, See you later, mate. It's just, it's not working. Right guys, moving away from fast food for a little bit. The next one says, Call Durex in an old man voice, telling them that you got your 88-year-old wife pregnant using one of their condoms and that you want your money back. I think that's a pretty good one because it's quite funny, but I need to make sure that my old man voice is on point. Otherwise, they're going to know that I'm not old. Sorry, our offices are now Closed. Right guys, Jurek seems to be closed on a Sunday, so I'm gonna ring Boots, which is like a pharmaceutical company if you don't know, and do a similar sort of thing. Hello, Boots Pharmacy, I can help. Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm alright, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. Uh, I bought some condoms at Boots the other day. Yeah? And it turns out my wife's pregnant now. Okay, 
Okay, that means maybe you didn't use them correct. Is it normal yeah. that she's pregnant at the age of 88? <laughs> That's a good one. Sorry. Okay, we can't really do anything about that. But, but it, it, it's a little bit late for us to have kids as my wife's 88 now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Would I be able to get my, my money back? Uh, definitely not. Why, why is that? Um, because it's you. Would I be able to return them? No, you can't return them. But my, my wife's pregnant. That's, that's, that's not good. Yeah, well, uh, we can't get her. It's based on how you use them. There's nothing we can do. And if you used them one week ago, you can't really tell. But, but I put it on my finger. Is that not what you're meant to do? <laughs> no! She was so angry with me. Like, can an 88 year old not buy condoms for himself and his wife? She was so blunt with me. She was like, well, no, because it was used a week ago. Like, what? I could have actually been really panicking as an old guy, me and my wife, starting a new life at the age of 88. Imagine having kids at the age of 88, like newborn babies. That would just, that would just be really weird. Okay guys, so the next one's sort of similar. It says, pretend to be an old person inquiring about technology, like saying that your TV won't work. Firstly, which technology company should I ring? Hmm. Hello, is this Costco? Costco Wembley, yeah. Perfect. Um, basically, uh, 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 <coughs> I'm having a little bit of an issue with my t television. Right. Well, I, can't, I, I can't seem to get it to work. Okay. I bought it from you about seven years ago now. Why are you hanging up? Literally, guys, I don't understand why everybody's so mean to the old people. It's so unfair. Press speaking, I can help. Hello, is this, is this Maplin? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm having a little bit of a trouble, troublesome afternoon with my television. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't really hear you. Hello, um, I'm having a little bit of an issue with my television this afternoon. Bit of an issue with your television? That's right. Uh, I'm trying to get it to work so I can watch the Winter Olympic Games, but it doesn't seem to turn on. Oh, that's strange. I purchased it from you about three months ago now. I'm, 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 I'm quite an elderly man and I'm not very good with this old technology stuff. Um, is there any way you know, like, any tips or tricks for me to be able to get my television working again? Um, that's not sort of any issue I can sort of do over the phone, I'm afraid. Is there any advice you could give me? What, what television was it you bought from that? A Toshiba one. Televisions. You don't sell televisions? No. Oh, is this Maplin? Yes. Oh, I wasn't trying to call Maplin. Okay. Uh, do you know about televisions anyway? Whilst you're here. Uh, yeah, it's usually the case they need power. It might be the case that a capacitor's gone on it. A capacitor what? It's gone faulty. Without it here, without anyone to test it, I wouldn't know. Sir, does the little black wire have to be plugged into the wall? Yeah, obviously. Oh, that seems to be the problem. It's not been plugged in. <laughs> I shall plug it in and I'll let you know if it's working. Two seconds, sir. 12 seconds later. Oh, there you go! Olympic Games, what a jolly day! Thank you very much, sir. Have a brilliant day. And you. Thank you, mate. Bye-bye. <laughs> I think that worked. He didn't hang up. He gave me a little bit of advice. He was helpful to the elderly. Turns out the company I phoned doesn't even sell television, so what was I even thinking to call them up about a television? I had no idea, so um, I think that's a success. Maybe one out of the five that we've done. I will admit, he did sound like he was laughing towards the end, so potentially he knew it was a prank, but he didn't say anything. He didn't hang up, so I'm taking that as a win. Right, guys, the next one's pretty difficult because I have to do an Irish accent and ring Domino's and tell them that I won't be coming into work. First issue there is that I'm not actually very good at accents. I don't think I'm going to be able to do an Irish accent or at least a believable one, so that's probably what's going to make me fail the prank the most, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. Top of the morning to your boss. I'm not gonna be able to come into work today. You know, I don't think I'm gonna be able to come into work today. Hello. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make my shift today. Just go. Yeah. Okay. How come? Oh, uh, you know, I had a, bit, a bit of a rough night last night. I've been sat on the toilet seat for the past three weeks. Ah, fair enough. Um. I'll let Thank you very much. Notice. Short notice? Thanks for giving us lots of notice. You having a laugh? No, I'm not being sarcastic. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you're all good. Thank you for letting me know.
Thank you very much. Guys, I can't actually believe that. She actually said some guy's name. I couldn't really hear what she said. But then she kind of said that she was going to tell her boss. So she was definitely thinking it was someone that she obviously works with and not actually just some random guy, for example, me, making a prank call. I think I might have just got that guy fired. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel or just haven't already, please make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Once again, guys, thank you so, so much for a thousand subscribers. I appreciate you guys so, so much. This family that we're growing together is becoming bigger and bigger every single day. And I just can't thank you enough for that, guys. Make sure to check out James down below in the description. He makes awesome content too. Once again, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.